the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to our Easter Sunday service from the Anglican Communion Office in London. The service is reaching you from the Lambeth Palace Gardens, where we live and enjoy the hospitality of the Archbishop of Canterbury, and Mrs. Welby, whom we lovingly call Mama Lambeth. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To you be glory and praise forever. Your steadfast love extends to the heavens and your faithfulness never ceases. Illuminate our hearts with your wisdom and strengthen our lives with your word. For you are the fountain of life. In your light we see true light. 
Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The Easter candle burns in honor of the risen Lord. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, May Christ our Lord guard and keep us. Amen. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. They went back home and prepared the spices for the body. On the Sabbath day, they rested as commanded by the law. Very early on Sunday morning, they came to the tomb carrying the spices they had prepared. seek the living among the dead. He is not here, but is risen. Remember what he said to you while he was in Galilee. The Son of Man will be handed over to sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then something amazing happened to two of the disciples. They excitedly came back to the others. The Lord is risen indeed. He has appeared to Simon. We didn't recognize him. Not on the road. But when he broke bread, then we knew him. At Emmaus, how strange he should go there. Peace be with you. Why are you troubled? 
Why are these doubts coming up in your minds? Look, at my hands and my feet, and see that it is I myself. Feel me and you will know. For a spirit has not flesh and bones as you see I have. These are the very things I spoke to you about while I was still with you. That everything written about me in the law of Moses and the writings of the prophets and the Psalms had to come true. This is what is written. The Messiah must suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And in his name, the message of repentance and the forgiveness of sins must be preached to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I myself will send you the one my father has promised. But you must wait in the city until the power from above comes down upon you. Alleluia! Christ is risen! He is risen indeed. Alleluia! 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 Let us pray that we may reign with the risen Christ in glory. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honor, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. The New Testament reading is taken from the Epistle of Paul to the Romans, chapter 6, and from verse 3. The New Testament reading is taken from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 6, verses 3 to 11. Não sabem que todos nós, os que fomos batizados para estarmos unidos a Jesus Cristo, ficamos unidos com Ele na Sua morte? Pelo batismo, fomos sepultados com Cristo e tomamos parte na sua morte. Assim podemos viver também uma nova vida, 
à semelhança dele que ressuscitou da morte pelo poder divino do Pai. Se estamos unidos a ele por uma morte como a sua, também havemos de estar unidos a ele na passagem da morte à vida. Sabemos que aquilo que nós éramos antes morreu com Cristo, na cruz, para ser destruído o que em nós havia de mal e para não sermos mais escravos do pecado. Aquele que morreu está livre do pecado. Se nós morremos com Cristo, acreditamos que também viveremos com Ele. Sabemos que Cristo, por ter passado da morte à vida, já não morrerá. A morte nunca mais terá poder sobre Ele. Pela sua morte, Cristo morreu para o pecado de uma vez para sempre e a vida nova que recebeu é vida para Deus. Do mesmo modo, considerem-se vocês também mortos para o pecado, mas vivos para Deus, em união com Cristo Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our special psalm for today is Psalm 114. <laughs> Israel lies in Troy, Egypt. Israel lies in Gita, Tosheletes, Ante Jacob. Samil, Yichoy, Ante Egypt. Apunar, Tawichita, Ihi, Sontes, Uenala. With Toshi Hualato. Apunar, Tahuda, Neche Hope. Lauk amahe. With Israel, neche hape, lauk lenyadla. Talwomakita hiwen la Israel lies, no wai la, with you will naisa. With tab teo kordan hiwen la, takasi, with up you will naisa. With ke nas, tiyah kepa, hate iwai son at the slays, the tiyah. The woman kita atip ante maktat menech tal noai. With Jordan atip ante maktat menech tal takasi. With Kenas atip ante maktat menech tal tiyak kepa atet iwoy so natas les tatiyak. With Am nat ista wahuli tasehi. Tatake of Slauk, Hako, Lavadio. Slam, it all throwing up of Jenas, the two day, with Jena in a lehina. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
gospel is written in the 28th chapter of the gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning at the first verse. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Hata sabato ilipokwisha, ikipabazuka siku ya kwanza ya juma, Mariamu Magdalene na Mariamu yule wakili walikwenda kulitazama kaburi. Na tazama palikuwa na tetemeko kubwa la nchi, kwa sababu malaika wa Bwana alishuka kutoka mbinguni, akaja akalivigirisha lile jiwe akalikalia. Na sura yake ilikuwa kama umeme na mavazi yake meupe kama theruji. Na kwa kumuogopa wale wanafunzi wakatetemeka wakawa kama wafu. Malaika akajibu akawaambia wale wanawake, "Msiogope nini. Kwa maana najua ya kuwa mnamtafuta Yesu aliyesulubiwa. Hayupo hapa kwani amepufuka kama alivyosema. Joni mpatazame pahali alipolazwa." Nani nedeni upesi mkawambia wanafunzi wake amefufuka katika wafu. Tazama awatangulia kwenda Galilaya ndiko mtakako muona. Haya nimekwisha waambia. Wakaondoka upesi kutoka kaburini kwa hofu na kwa furaha nyingi. Wakaenda upesi kuwapasha wanafunzi wake habari. Na tazama Yesu akakutana na wao akisema, "Salamu." wakakaribia wakamshika miguu wakamsujudia kisha Yesu akawaambia msiogope enedeni mkawaambia ndugu zangu waende Galilaya ndiko watakako niona this is the gospel of the lord praise to you o christ in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen it's wonderful to be able to be speaking to you here on Easter Day from Canterbury Cathedral, the mother church of our whole communion. And I know many of you who've been here before will be reminded of its holy spaces. This cathedral church is one great link in our communion. We pray for each province day by day according to our calendar and at this time of terrible crisis for the whole human race in our world we are more than especially keen to be sending our services across the world and so this opportunity to speak to you on Easter Day is a wonderful one and I feel privileged. We've had all the sad news of closures of things when we would have gathered together and on this Easter day it means that we are separated from each other in our societies and locked into our own homes but by this means we can speak to each other and wish each other well our hearts and minds are filled with prayers and also grief for those who've suffered so much and are suffering so much from this coronavirus but at the same time we are aware how this crisis has broken down barriers between those who before had been hostile to each other. And we pray that that sense of communion in an ordinary sense of the word throughout the world between nations may grow and continue because of this. Our gospel tells us a wonderful story of how grief is changed to amazement and then to new hope and then intention. Mary Magdalene comes to the tomb at the very first stirrings of light and she finds the stone rolled away and the body of her Lord missing. She has come to grieve for one she knows to have died and suddenly 
even the sense of being in the presence of his body is taken away from her. And then suddenly there is a figure with her in the garden and naturally she takes him to be the gardener, someone who cares for this place and asks his help in her difficulty. Where have they taken my Lord? It only needs Jesus to say her name in order for her to know that this is not the gardener, it is Jesus. And amazement and surprise turns for a moment to joy and she reaches out to touch him. It's the most natural human activity, reaching out to touch one that one loves. And Jesus says, don't touch me, but instead go to my brothers and tell them this good news. I go to my father and your father, to my God and your God. And she runs to tell the others. It's a, a story perhaps of enormous meaning for our world at the moment. We are full of grief at what is happening and at the same time we are filled on this Easter day with a desire to share the good news that Christ is risen and that our alleluias are proclaiming that. But the words, do not touch me, have a very different meaning during this virus. In order to protect each other, our neighbourliness means that we have to have a sense of being locked in as well. Being God's church in God's world means sharing all of that. Mary looked to find help and thought the gardener was standing there and it was Jesus. Well, that too has a lesson. Those who are fighting this disease at great cost to their own safety and those who are doing neighbourly things and encouraging each other with messages even on the airwaves and across telephones and in cheerful cards are giving hope and are in that being Christ to one another. Touch me not becomes but give this good news to one another. It won't be long in the story in the New Testament before the apostles and those who follow them. Men and women are facing dangers, being cast into prison, even dying for that faith. Our chapels in Canterbury Cathedral, which so many of you know well, are filled with the stories of those who have given their lives, even in our own century, for the sake of others. Our communion can hold right across the world. We can be God's church in God's world. And we do so by looking to Jesus and finding him not only in the gospel and in the simple breaking of bread with each other wherever we are, but also by messages sent and by our self-sacrificing neighbourliness with the skills that we have. We pray for each other in this situation of grave danger. But on Easter Day we also give hope to one another with heaven's values of eternal life and also the capacity even now to embrace the message that Christ is risen and we have become his body on earth to be God's church in God's world and give resurrection hope to all. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Amen.
as we celebrate again the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We remember that through these saving acts we have died and been buried with him in baptism so that we might rise with him to a new life within the family of his church. St. Paul tells us that we are baptized into the death and resurrection of Christ. As we celebrate his rising in triumph, we give thanks for our baptism. In baptism, God calls us out of darkness into his marvelous light. To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. Therefore, I ask, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? I reject them. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? I renounce them. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbors? I repent of them. Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? I turn to Christ. Do you submit to Christ as Lord? I submit to Christ. Do you come to Christ the way, the truth and the life? I come to Christ. Brothers and sisters, I ask you to profess the faith of the Church. Do you believe and trust in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe and trust in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for our fellowship in the household of faith, with all who have been baptized in your name. Keep us faithful to our baptism, and so make us ready for that day when the whole creation shall be made perfect in your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
joy and hope, let us pray to the Father. That our risen Saviour may fill us and the whole creation with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the good news of Easter. That we find afresh our unity in Christ and that God's blessing be poured out on all churches, on their bishops and leaders, on their clergy and all the baptised. And today we pray particularly for the peace of Jerusalem and the people living in the land of the Holy One. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That God may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love and to work together for the common good. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That by his power, war and famine may cease through all the world. We pray that those enduring suffering at this time may not be forgotten and may find the support they need. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, to all the suffering from COVID-19, to the weak and the dying, to comfort and strengthen them. We remember those also who are isolated at home, particularly those unable to be with sick or dying family members. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That according to his promises, all who have died in the faith of the resurrection may be raised on the last day. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, so that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. On a daily basis, we receive reports from the various regions of our communion of the Bible being translated and read in different languages. We have reports of spiritual growth and numerical growth in many parts of our communion. We receive news of Anglicans reaching out with the love of Christ to the needy. We indeed, as a family, have a lot to celebrate and to thank God for. So let us thank God for our communion. We thank you, loving God, for calling us to belong to the Anglican Communion. Thank you for our inheritance of common prayer, ordered ministry, and our expanding diversity of languages and cultures. Thank you for the bonds of affection that strengthen our communion through the Archbishop of Canterbury, our bishops meeting at the Lambeth Conference, the work of the Anglican Consultative Council, and the meeting of the primates of our churches. Thank you for the baptismal faith we share in Jesus Christ, crucified and risen, and for the Holy Spirit poured out on all of us without reserve or distinction. Through times of joy and times of struggle, keep opening our hearts to one another with mutual understanding, forbearance and compassion through Jesus Christ our Lord. Heavenly Father, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant 
that as his death has recalled us to life, so his continual presence in us may raise us to eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. God, who through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us the victory, give you joy and peace in your faith. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Thanks to all who have been able to join us in this Easter celebration in spite of time difference in our zones. Please join us again next week Saturday, April the 18th at 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. May God bless you all.